Joining us here is Aaron, an independent game developer that's working on the wildly popular GoldenEye Source Half-Life Conversion. Uh, now, GoldenEye 007 has a place in many gamers' hearts since its original release in 1997 on the N64. Aaron, thank you for coming. What can you tell us about the uh, GoldenEye Source? Uh, GoldenEye Source is, like you said, total conversion for Half-Life 2. Um, our goal is to recreate every aspect of the original Nintendo 64 version. And how'd you get involved in this project? Uh, uh, someone mentioned about uh, mentioned it on some forums and uh, did a little research on it. Uh, seemed great. Uh, became part of the community and uh, posted some of my own work. And they actually picked me up as a team member. And what do you do? What uh, role do you play in the game development? Um, I'm a modeler, and uh, I make anything from uh, weapons to props to map objects. And what kind of experience do you have with modeling? What's your background there? Um, I started modeling quite recently. Um, I started messing with 3D Studio Max and uh, just picked it up. And uh, have you ever worked with game development before? Are there any other mods? I had a little bit of experience before. I had worked on uh, a Battlefield 1942 mod called uh, Galactic Conquest. Okay, and how do you guys collaborate with this mod since it's all online, I assume? Right. Um, uh, Communication is a little bit limited, but we do have IRC and the forums, and uh, we do have TeamSpeak uh, dev member sessions, and uh, we get we get quite a bit done. So, what's it like developing a game online rather than the traditional sense? Um, like I said, communication is a little bit more limited. Um, we don't have the benefit of being in an office together, things like that. But um, I think we manage. Now, and there's been some other mods that have had uh, commercial success, most notably right. Counter-Strike or Day of Defeat. Is this something that you're pursuing professionally? Professionally, I don't think this is something I want to take anywhere. But um, it, as a side thing, I think it's, it's great, and I really enjoy doing it. But there are, definitely are people in the mod community who want to take this to the next level and become game developers. So what would you say to any aspiring game developers? Um, just find a program you're comfortable working with, and... Uh, Practice makes perfect. Just just takes time, really, and you get the hang of it. Okay, and uh, as for GoldenEye Source, when can we expect to see a, a playable version of this? Uh, right now, we're pushing for a, uh, a Christmas release, a beta release for the public, and uh, it's going to include uh, a few maps, um, some weapons, and character models. And what do you guys plan to include in like the final release? I mean, can we see some of the more fun features of 007, like the the paintballs, oh, the slappers, absolutely. the big heads? All that stuff is going to be in there. Um, it's just going to be a ball to play. Awesome. Now you were able to pull some strings. You've got with you here uh, some exclusive game footage. Right. Talked to a few people. Um, put together some game footage. And great. So let's take a look. What are we seeing right here? Uh, we got here is a brief run around of the back zone of facility, just to give uh, viewers an idea of what we're trying to accomplish and what we're working on. You know, it looks like with the uh, Half-Life 2 engine, uh, the increased textures and everything, it's really making this game vivid and pop, but at the same time, it looks like it's pretty much staying true to the original facility as far as I can remember it. Yeah, we're, we're keeping it, uh, we're representing the original in every aspect. I mean, it's no different. And uh, this, of course, is uh, just Egyptian or... Yeah. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will recognize this already. Um, it's Egyptians, one of our uh, pretty much uh, finished up maps. And it looks like you've taken, you know, put your own creative flavor in here uh, with that little pond of water. Yeah, the pond um, mapper added it. We, um, you know, we felt the uh, the original GoldenEye engine couldn't uh, give enough life to the uh, to the map, so we figured we'd add our own little things and help it along, give it more life. Yeah, it was definitely bringing it out of the old 1997 uh, technology and and enabling you guys to, to make it, it a game that I'd love way. to play, yeah. So, wow, and this lighting is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the Half-Life 2, uh, really, uh, the engine really enables us to uh, give it a lot more f life and feeling than uh, previously possible, and it's great. Yeah, it's going to be some great multiplayer. Aaron, that looks amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank Thanks you for, for the exclusive me. footage. Uh, where can anybody find more information about GoldenEye Source? Um, if you want to find out more, go ahead and head over to www.goldenisource.com. Uh, we have some very active forums and uh, new content is actually posted quite frequently. Great. Well, we are looking forward to the playable demo. Definitely. Thanks so much.